Right guys, uh, yeah, just another one. Monday the 11th, uh, decided after we've had nice fine weather, you know, bit of wind, bit of rain, maybe a bit miserable out there. I'm gonna go fishing. Yeah, so <clears throat> today I'm gonna try local venue because remember, you know, we've been gifted the fact that we can go fishing, so, you know, I'm, I'm not telling you what not to do, what to do, or out like that. I'm just saying, you know, please be respective of things that have been put in place because, you know, it, it's a gift and we'd be daft to screw it up, wouldn't we? So, yeah, going fishing local, local mark to me, West End Beach, low water. Uh, the wind, well, wind now is pretty, pretty high. Rain's pretty bad. Uh, the tide's a low water at 4.30, so it's a 1.8 metre, which is, it's, it's, it's a good one. Uh, I'm going West End Beach, like I've said. Um, I'm going to pull myself more to the left, closer to the pipeline, because I found the, the tide pulls a little less there, and it's a little less weedy, because uh, you can get some hellishly big clumps of weed on there there uh, yeah um where was i yeah yeah so yeah gonna go fishing gonna try my luck just got a mixture of frozen baits i've got frozen black got some squid some mackerel fillets uh i was gonna take some crab but i'm, I'm gonna leave that now uh, i've got some prawn and i have got some sprats all frozen baits so i'm not expecting no massive massive report later on of what's happened and I'm, I'm just going to get out because you know thing uh rod and reel rod i've got a 14 foot can't tell you too much about it at the moment it's a 14 foot rod uh yeah yeah i'll just leave it there 14 foot rod can't tell you too much about it at the moment because it's not available at the moment. I've just been giving it to have a little play with, so I feel very, very privileged. And uh, thank you guys for who's let me have in a play with this at the moment. Uh, but it will all come out. Uh, I'm using my new Crosscast Surf 45 SCW 5000C QD Daiwa Reel loaded up with. <laughs> Uh, whiplash 32 pound braid with a tribuku tapered leader on there yeah i've gone back to try and braid i've but I've, instead of using a straight one straight through i've gone for a still a fairly heavier line but you know so i have still got that little bit of stretch and a little bit of thing because i found first time around with braid i was i was getting bites but i was missing fish whether it was because there wasn't enough stretch in the line and it was just pulling hooks or whatever i, I have no idea like i say i'm not an expert uh but yeah using that rigs well i'll be using to start with i'll be using uh yellow start off with yellow top breakaway weights you know 150 grams if if that's not enough but generally that's that's enough for most of everywhere where i go I'll, I'll i'll up it to a red top if i have to which is like you say 170 uh but yeah rigs two are clipped hook sizes between i'll have all twos uh well not all twos all ones going down to about a size two I've got a couple of smaller ones just in case I find them getting bites but I'm missing fish because, you know, it, there have been a couple of soul caught off there and I know there's still a lot of soul in Morecambe, but people don't generally try and go for them, but this is one of my to-do things. I want one. Obviously, I'm fishing in the darkness and, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll have something to report. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's yeah, so that that's basically it. That's my gear, my kit. Uh, obviously, I'll be wearing waders, a jacket, obviously to keep dry, hopefully dry and, and warm. Uh, yeah, so hopefully 
either later on today or tomorrow, I'll have something to report. Um, if I've got any leftover baits or anything like that, instead of putting them in the freezer straight away, what I'll do is I'll I'll do a little video. I'll make up some cocktails, uh, put them in tubs, and then freeze them down because, yeah, I, I generally don't like to uh, to waste things. But yeah. Uh, I'm not taking overly too much, so yeah, if I do do a little video on how I, I basically bait up with different baiting tools and things like that, any feedback would be would be good if, if you do want to see that kind of video or if, if there is any, any kind of review or video about sort of little things, whether it's rig making, whatever, just, just let me know. Uh, hopefully, guys, you'll see me again with a smile on my face. Because uh, I caught some, because yeah, it's just nice to get out. Like I say, guys, keep it kiss, keep it simple, stupid, uh, or keep it so simple. Either way, I don't want to call you stupid because I don't judge. See you later, guys.